Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. I'm having a little problem because I've got to remake this video because when I was watching it I was speaking so slowly I couldn't believe it and what I was should have taken about 20 minutes took 46 minutes. Anyway let's get on with this particular episode again. So what I want to do I'll just change my oxygen while I'm thinking about it. But it was so funny I must admit. So right now let's have a look at what quests we've got open moon trance so we've built the assembly required and then we've got cracking it down where we've got to build a pulverizer and we'll get some good rewards for that so let's have a look at the recipe for pulverizer wrong button So that's we've got the machine frame already, I think. With two flints, two copper gears, and redstone reception coil, and a piston. Those two shouldn't be a problem. Let's have a look. What's actually I've got? Well, I can make that. I can make that, can't I? So we could put this into here. So we could make two copper cores. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, let's look what's going on here. Ah, yes, I'm ready to do that one. But the recipes aren't reloaded, so let's just fix that one. Machine frame basic. I think that's what I should be making, to be honest with you. Yes, that's right. I should be making this. I think the quest is slightly out of, screwed up. So what else we can do? Well, that's while well, that's working, it'll take quite a long time. I need to go and make some um, an ore converter. So let's look at the recipe for ore, ore converter. So we've got to make this. So that's one oak plank. Well, one set of planks. So, so yep and an ore converter which is an iron ingot a cobblestone and a crafting table a crafting table should be no problem let's do that cobblestone should be no problem and a iron ingot should also be no problem in fact what we can do is just I think I can do it like this and it, I might have got it. that's right folks good so we need that plus a plank of wood. We've got. So now we've got that, we can actually go and claim that that quest, and we'll get an automatic ore converter. So let's look at that one. Let's go to the quests. Done that one. This one. So let's detect, submit, and claim the reward, and let's put those two down. So I'm going to put them down here. And then I've got to get a bucket of copper. I've got a bucket of meat. I've got a bucket of gold. Let's put that away and get copper. The reason I'm going to use copper is because copper is um, one of those or uh, ingots which you've got lots of different varieties. I think there's seven different varieties in this pack of copper. So what we can do here, I'll take that out of there. I don't need that because I've already done it. I want one ingot's worth. Let's put one ingot in here and then come along here put the copper in here come along here right remove that straight away and you'll see here we've got foundry which ought to make sense let's clear that off let's clear that off there and then switch on the bus to empty out the tank should be now empty we're not quite too quick now it's empty ready for next time So when you put this into the ore converter like this, you'll see the different types of copper copper ingots you can have. So you've got them from Industrial Craft 2, Galactic Craft Core, Thermal Foundation, Tinker's Construct, Foundry, Tech Reborn, and Ex Nihilio. So there's all sorts of different varieties of that. So the one you might actually want, in fact the one I tend to use, Thermal Foundation, you can take that and you can then put this into here as a type. Now, 
unfortunately this is already converted let's just convert it back to something else first of all like foundry and then when you put this into the ore converter it will automatically get converted to the, this one if i take this out of there like that come back here and then push it through again it gets converted to industrial craft 2 so the industrial craft 2 was that in fact the first one on here and i think that's how it works actually let's take it let's fix that again because i'm going to need this at later, some later stage oops oh, i didn't want to do that excuse me little boob uh that one there we go right we can, we can then put this back into here and we can put the copper away over here like that so that's that bit done so that's one more quest completed now let's have a look at the next quest basically yeah this is this is a bit strange i don't know what i've done wrong here probably a bit of in because i had to re-record the episode i might have picked up the wrong backup let's have a look i've actually got this i don't see i've actually got a machine frame basic on me anyway that's what we'll go do that one we'll do this one next so we need an oxygen mask oxygen gear and a heavy oxygen tank and we'll get in return three heavy oxygen tanks already full of oxygen now an oxygen gear let's have a look at the recipe for that so that's done so we don't worry about that one so an oxygen gear is where well, i can't see it there is what that's fairly straightforward one iron helmet surrounded by glass planes gas planes gas panes this one here is 32 broken tin ore and this is the empty one it's the same i think 32 broken tin ore in the assembly table so how much tin have i got in here at the moment 58 that's platinum i need tin ah I've already got that out somewhere. Oh, I have. Good thing I remembered I've got this. That's broken silver ore. So I'll take this. We need another 16. I'm going to go and quickly go do a bit of um, mining. What have I got? No. Nope. It's still daytime. That's good. So a quick little mine. I want to just get another. I'll just get another row of this should be sufficient i need probably difficult to say actually probably about two stacks of moon rock that's a good start here couldn't i could probably the, moon, the best part to start with and just go around here i'm guessing moon this looks like moon dirt and moon rock It's, it's not too bad to actually mine this away here because it also means that you've got a better flat area outside the base a flat area means that the, um, the turrets can actually grind a few more mobs when you therefore you're a bit safer as it were in fact mobs aren't really a problem in this pack at all so well so far anyway and as you notice once you've moved away from the moon rock to moon turf and moon dirt things go get mined a lot faster finish this off like that and then come back and do another row how much have i got in here i've got two enough stacks that's probably that's probably enough for for this let's go and get those put into the sieve So 64 of those, and that's what I've got. So we should just hopefully we get some lots of tin. That's tin. We need um, 14 more, don't we? I should be able to build another hopper. That would be sensible. Put a hopper on top of this, then we can feed everything in without having to stand here. Moon dirt I'll keep for myself anyway. What have we got now? Five. That's 55. That's not enough. I'm 
just hoping I don't have to go mining again. Looks like I might have to. Let me just do a quick sort. If you can't sort there, what have I got? Two moon turfs, so I can put those through. That looks like I'm getting a bit unlucky with the tin this time. The worst comes to the worst. We'll set one of these going anyway. We've already got a stack of that and a stack of carbon. We can put the carbon through. Oh, carbon. Uncompressed coal. We can put the uncompressed coal through here while this is busy. Like for that matter, I could clean out my inventory, couldn't I? Yes, that's a bit of a shame. We'll get rid of these moon turf. So we've got nine. That's 59. We need another five. So we're going to need another stack or so of moon rock, I reckon. So let's um, come out here, put the, this stuff that I don't need with me away. So I don't need the mint or the moon turf. I'll keep the tin with me. I'll get rid of those. I don't need the arrows. And I don't need this one. Actually, can I put the iron over here? Yes, I can, no problem. Let's let that make some more iron for us. So the next thing, I've got to go and do some more mining. Of course, while I'm mining, it's actually doing that to frame. Oops, didn't jump far enough. We'll level this off. But what I haven't said is I've got a Tinker's Construct hammer here. And maybe I've already said they told you about this, but this the Tinker's Construct hammer is great. You can then add speed upgrades to this, so we can add re redstone later on, which I probably will do. In fact, huh? I must have missed a bit further earlier on. Let's just see. Oh yes, I'm going to go back a little bit further. Yeah. Where's the end here? Keep it. Try and keep it reasonably tidy. Let's go through here. A couple of blocks. Oops, that was not what I wanted to do. Never mind. I won't have enough. I won't have enough moon rock here, so I'm going to have to go and do it on the other side. Well, maybe I will. Let's just do it down here a bit. So I want to go back three, don't I? That looks like three. Two. Okay. One more. Yep, still only two. Right. But gets a bit tricky. Now we should be off. Picking which face you hit it on is very important with these uh, these tools that do lots of um, blocks at a time. And I'm collecting quite a lot of moon dirt and I'm starting to get some moon rock. That's also good. Well, it would be if I could. So this is a bit tidier. Now I'm going to get some more moon rock. I should check my oxygen. It's fine. Good. It's also great not having to worry about um, food. Normally I do mining off camera because it's sort of well, semi-relaxing but it's not really entertaining is it? be enough. Just sort my inventory and I can put the moon dirt in here. What am I left with? Moon turf and moon rock. That's good. So I've got just about two stacks of that. That should be enough. Oh, 
fishing rod will decompose that. Fishing rods are great for decomposing. We basically end up with lots of stringy type stuff. What have we got now? 59, 60. 61. I do hope we get enough actually, otherwise it's going to go back and have to do more mining and that's a bit of a pain. Maybe I'll just take a break and do it off camera. Ah, 13, I'm going to do it. Yep, 64, great. Right, that can do its own business. We can go back now and we can put these into here. And I'm going to do this because I'm going to split it into two. Put that one in there and we need to make a, an oxygen gear. I'm going to turn off this, let it make the oxygen gear. Turn that back on, put it back again, and then I'm going to do the other one, and we're going to make the heavy oxygen tank. Like that. So they should now be in here, which is ready made. So all I need to do now is to make the helmet and the glass plane. So helmet is just five ingots of iron, which we've got enough of here. One helmet, put that back. And some glass panes. Now glass panes we need some obsidian for. We could make more, of course, eight. But since you make these in six, six, isn't it? Hopefully I've got some obsidian ready I can take. So I've got my bucket, that's good. What I should do, what I could have done is to move this barrel beside this, and then it could automatically push that across. That would have been a very sensible thing to do. And I should also build a hopper on top of this and make, feed that with cobblestone. That would be another sensible automation. But in fact, it's really difficult in this pack to actually do much in terms of automation early game. There's a lot of grinding we have to do. So, right. So with the with the obsidian with the obsidian yeah with the obsidian we'll turn that into silicon dioxide. In fact, we'll turn all of it into silicon dioxide. I think that's 64. 64 is probably enough. Let's have a look. Oh, I've got plenty in here. I didn't need to do that, did I? Yep, that makes two. I've got to get rid of that one. So we need eight panes. Eight. Good. And that will complete another quest. Like that. So then we have that quest completed. Let's have a look. Detect. Claim. So we now have three oxygen tanks. Let's put one of these oxygen tanks into here to fill it up again. So that's the four. What I'm now going to do is I'm now going to build a chest. If I've got enough wood, I just have. Look at that. Make some more wood as well. And we're going to put this upstairs. Here, somewhere about here. I'm just going to stand on the side. Oh, I've got jump boost again. I'm just going to stand on the side here and I'm going to put this chest here like this. And I'm going to put in it what we need and these are basically what that's going to do for us is if we die when you respawn you spawn here so you, can, you don't have to go and look for the oxygen you've got it already prepared right now what else do I need to do I need to just double check this one hopefully this is going to finish soon even with us even with the six lasers it takes quite a long time to do 15 million RF so the machine frame plus, let's have a look at what we have to do for the pulverizer. Where's the recipe gone? Here. So, one piston, two flint, two redstone reception coils, copper gear, and a, and a frame. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I just think we need that. And when, how much RF does this need? That's actually not very much RF, 158,000. So that'll be done very quickly once the the frame has been made. Well, it takes such a long time to do the frame. It's a bit tedious. 
So what I'm going to do while while I'm waiting for this, I am going to go and make some retinol because we would like to make some carrots. Now, what do we need for retinol? Let's have a look. It's definitely carbon and hydrogen and oxygen, I think. Now I know I've got the recipe in the book somewhere. Maybe we'll take some water so we can decompose that. Let's have a look at the book. Yeah, that was right. Now it's actually hydroxide we need to make first of all. So we, I'm going to make about a couple of these. Let's get rid of this recipe on here. Do I? Just oxygen and hydrogen, isn't it? I'm not sure I've got enough oxygen and hydrogen. Let's put these into the top here. Well, that's doing. Let's sift some of this. Oh, it's full. Um, get rid of that one. And what else is 64? That one. Yeah. We've got some more carbon in there and some silicon dioxide. So we'll take silicon dioxide out of here. Put that into here. Now, what do we want? I wanted some hydroxide, didn't I? I'm going to make about three of these. So that's just an H and an O together. Three like that. And then we're going to make retinol. So we can actually put the retinol in the book like this and that should just, we should be able to simply click it off. One. And I've run out of hydrogen. Okay, let's decompose some water. Or oh, we could actually decompose. This gives me 10 each time. So a cellulose, but we'll keep that and just do the water. We'll be able to get lots of water later on, so that's no big deal. That's no. And what have I run out of now? Oxygen, huh? Typical. Oh, I've got three. That's what I wanted to make. Good. And I also want to mine chem some jungle wood. So let's see what we have to do to mine chem. I don't think I've got enough cellulose there. For that, we'd need we'd need some more wood, and I don't think I've got enough wood. What's the recipe for cellulose? Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Hmm. Have I, let's just, I'm not sure whether I've done this. Let's put it in there and let's get the book out of here. Maybe I've already done a cellular. Let me have a quick look. Oh, yes, I have a look. Let's select that, put that into here like this. Get that other cellulose out of here that I was going to analyse, but don't need to. And we're going to make however many you can make out of that. 12, great. Now we. Oh, that for, I actually did clear and let me clear the book. That's interesting. I didn't expect that to do that because normally with the book in there you can't you can't clear recipes so easily. So with this we can make some jungle wood and I think Oh no I've got I reckon I haven't got enough. Oh I don't know the recipe for jungle wood. Let's have a look it up. We've done the oxygen, let's have a look at the jungle wood. Oh, it's two of each. Oh, okay. A bit unfortunate. All right, that'll give me two pieces of jungle wood. See, so it's actually got two, but because the other one's actually in the machine itself, I should have two pieces of jungle wood. Oh, I've only got four. Have I got any cellulose in there? Oh, I have got plenty. I want four, don't I? Try again. So it's eight pieces. That makes sense, doesn't it? So I've got some jungle wood. Now I'm going to craft an, a barrel. Actually, that's what I need the jungle wood for. I don't think I have enough of what I need. I need to make um. Let's do this. I need six of these, six planks, and I need some more. I need some slabs, and we can also mine chem slabs. 
This is pretty good for us. Let's take all of this cellulose out of here because it's more useful than that. So the recipe for slabs is, let's have a look, jungle slabs, this one here. We can mine chem these up with just two. We only want one slab, so that's probably the best way to do it. A little bit more like that. And that gives me enough for a barrel. So I'm going to make the barrel because the barrel is actually going to be quite useful. Oops. It's a jungle wood barrel. That last time I made an oak wood barrel, but it doesn't matter very much for the sake of this demonstration. I'm going to put that down there. And into that, I'm going to book a bucket of water. So let's select water and put a bucket through it there, like that. And that's going to be ready for the next thing I want to make, which is going to be. Have a look, we've got down here. Right, we're up to ooh, 90 percent now, I reckon. So it's not going to be too much longer. But it does take a these slow machines, these big ones are really take a long time and quite a lot of effort. Because so what I want to do next after that is to get some gravel. Oops, have I got any gravel in here? Yes, I've got seven. So what I'm going to do next is to pulverise gravel. In fact, let's just change my oxygen tank before I snuff it. I'm, I'm simply wait for this, because what I'm going to need to do is to pulverise this gravel. Let's have a look at the uses of gravel. So if we go to the pulveriser, you see you've got a chance of dust. And this dust here is useful because what we can do with the dust, we can put that in the barrel of water like that. And we make clay. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm just having a quick read of what this, while that's actually doing, let's go and clear out some of this stuff from in here because it's still going to take a while. And it's one of these things you have to keep going around doing. What have I got in here? Let's take away these ores because. Let's just clear this whole thing away. If I can, that is. If I can't quite, let's get rid of these. Because that will give me two spaces. Like that, and I should be able to take these out of here like that. Good. And with some of these will come back. We'll actually start to smelt these, I think. So it doesn't really matter what to put into here. Let's put in the copper, the broken silver, um, the broken aluminium, broken tin, and broken gold, and broken nickel. That'll do for to start with, I think. And while that's, well, those are all smelting away, because they're smelt away, they go into here, they get smelted away, and then they'll get pulled into the network, the AE network, which will start to get more fluids in here so if we look at this now we start to go we've got five different fluids in it, six different fluids in here now so we've got a capacity of 10 so that's your nine ores plus water to start with in fact I might as well put the rest of this stuff away because I can't use it for the time being three diamonds that's good I reckon I haven't done anything with The retinol, what you do with retinol now, is you put it down like this. Here, a couple of carrots. I just want two carrots to start with. We want to plant those. Now, as this thing finished, let's, that'll have finished, let's shove another stack of that into there. And keep doing the same thing. Has this finished? Oh, very, very nearly now, which is good. 440,000 to do, which will be a few seconds. There we are. Of course you can select that, but I'm going to just put this straight into here now. And click the pulverizer. And then we can click ender pearls after that. And as you can see the pulverizer is getting made very quickly. It won't take very long at all. In fact that's while that's messing around, let's go and just come around here and put into this another stack of this. Let's take the fishing rods out and decompose those. K 
keep pushing this in there. And let's go and have a look. I think I've actually got some more fishing rods in here. Yeah, 10. Oh, two more. Oops. Get carried away. So we can decompose all of these fishing rods while we're building the pulverizer. And as you know, you get all these, these three ingredients you're getting from here as well, other than cellulose. You um, you can make string out of them. So these serine, glycine and alanine, you can make string out of. So I reckon that's finished now. Yes, it has. Good. So we can now come put this pulverizer down. Like that. And then we can put the gravel into there. And with a bit of luck, we'll get some sand. You see it's a bit slow. And we'll get sand definitely, but we'll get some dust as well. And if we don't, we just put it through twice. Because the uses of sand, you can obviously make seeds and so that shapeless crafting. But you can also got quite a few uses in fact. It's just you macerate it, which you haven't got yet, compress it, pulverize it, and you pulverize it directly to dust. That was strange. Seven. Okay, let's just put one through. We have our dust. We come around here now, we put this dust into the water there, and we get a block of clay out, which is great. Now, what you do with the clay is you take it along here and you can mine chem it. And I think, I think it's guaranteed to give you, yeah, carotene. Now, carotene, four in this case, you can, I think it's put into here in the top right hand corner, and you get clay. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope I've not got too many continuity errors on there. So, until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.